Greetings and welcome to the week four entries. I will be playing each of the 46 entries from the final week of my tournament in individual videos so that you can see them in the order they were submitted to me. Each of these maps was created by one of the people you see here in the audience in only 60 minutes. Truly a feat. Some amazing ideas this round. I hope you enjoy the Let's Plays. Congrats to everyone who entered. All right, here we have the first playable entry in week four by Shadow621. This is the wild card map. Curious why there are only 63 pork chops? I got hungry. <laughs> oh, if that's the way that you work the word curious into this map, I love it. That is hilarious. All right. Welcome to the Pillars. This map was made in 60 minutes. Uh, let's see. Considered adventure. Great. There are four different pillars slash areas for you. For you. Hmm. Probably says to complete. By completing a pillar, you will get a lever, which you will place on one of the gold blocks in this room. Good luck, and remember to power all four levers after placing them. Uh, I am in adventure mode. I am weaponless. Ah, okay. Okay, so the pillars are nicely arranged. Interesting uh, roof on this building. Now, this is the first playable entry that I have. Mini game slash arena pillar. Ooh, are each of these pillars a separate, a separate thing? It's very dark, I see a button. Let me check this first. Okay, maybe I picked a good one to start with here because I got some gear that I could ostensibly take into the other pillars. After completing one area, go up to the next. I would guess that's fairly obvious. So this is an arena. Whoa! I almost didn't see him. Is he wearing something? Hmm. So I'm guessing after I push the button. Actually, I kind of like that the mobs aren't already spawned. Whoa! That is a... What the heck? Oh boy, that is a knockback bow. It's going to be difficult to get near this guy. Uh, okay, let's try an alternate approach here. Make him come to me. Now, what is he riding on? Whatever he was riding on is still there. Maybe, maybe not. Whew. All right, we'll use up this rotten flesh here. Okay, that difficulty ramped up quickly. Okay, this is going to be maybe blazes. He has some particle of effect. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm. That seemed easier than the skeleton. I was saying blazes because of the light. Are you curious if this mob is invulnerable? Well, don't be. Don't be curious. Another bowyer. Okay, he's not invulnerable. Okay. This is the last one. Oh. Aha! The lever can be placed on black of gold. Okay. So that was a pretty straightforward arena. I guess I I would have expected, and this is not at all anything that affects your points that on some of the levels, well actually two things. One is that if you're only gonna give me a single mob, I would have thought maybe you put a name on it, no big deal. And two, uh, I would have expected a couple rooms with like multiple mobs, but not, again, not a big deal. I understand what it's like to have to make these in only 60 minutes. There is a limit to what you can do. And this one looks like it's gonna give me four things in one. Now, I'm not going to pull that until... Oh, I bet you he's going to make me parkour. I'm going to pull it. Okay, didn't do anything. So, I think that was that one. 
Let's see what this one is over here. Survival pillar. Really? Very curious. Don't break blocks. You don't need to. Okay, I got a bunch of like farming stuff. In this tower, you must make four cakes and then throw them in the hopper above. Okay, that's good. Ooh. Interesting. Clear the weather and set the time today. I will do that. Okay, I could hear the rain. Curious if this will take a while? It probably won't. <laughs> I love that you incorporated the curious in various signs. Drop in four cakes and then take the lever. Huh, okay. I wonder, so he's, is he detecting? All right, we'll start by putting my cow here. Uh, this is for sugar. Oh, I didn't realize I could put that up against a solid block. Why do I always forget that? And then chickens for eggs. Well, I guess I put the cow on the wrong side, maybe. I'm, I'm not going to put all the chickens. Oh, for a second. You know what? I am going to put all the chickens. I can never have enough chickens. Clucking around. There's my eggers. I guess I should probably start with the seeds. Get the, how did... How in the world did you get over there? That's weird. Is that weird? That seems weird to me. Oh, I... Oh, I think he might have sped up the tick speed because look at the wheat's already growing. I am so thankful for you for doing that because otherwise this could be, you know, like watching grass grow. <laughs> Literally. All right. What do we got here? We've got Uno Ego. We've got all of our milk. Oh, wow. He totally sped up the tick speed. That is very smart map making. Very smart map making. It's not rocket science, but very conscientious of what the player will need. So this is pretty easy, but it, but you know what? I, I'm kind of enjoying it, actually. I haven't made that many cakes in Minecraft. Maybe that's why I can enjoy this with a grain of salt. Uh, I think I just made way more than I needed. But he said it won't take long, and I think he's correct. I'm going to have to endure the clucking chuckling, unless I kill all those chickens. Okay, let's see what do we got here. Uh, I think it needs three milk per. Okay, and I think it needs three wheat per. Uh, so what I'm missing is the eggs, then. We don't have a lot of egging going on here, do we? Uh, and I'm missing the sugar, which that would be pretty easy. Am I correct in... I just had this sudden thought that uh, reeds are actually one of the more versatile blocks in Minecraft because you can get something uh, to craft uh, paper goods books and things, but you can also get a food source, which is sugar. So one block actually go, you know, go goes ahead and delivers. One block actually turns into two completely different types of resources. Seems fairly interesting to me. We need more eggs. This is, the egg parts take a little bit long. I don't remember how, do eggs go in the middle? If so, we only need four eggs. If eggs go on the outside, no, I think eggs go in the middle. I think we need one egg per cake. A recipe might not have been a bad idea. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna just gonna do this too. This is sort of an interesting. Are these all gates? Oh, it is. Come to me, my chickadees. 
I hope you lay eggs while while uh, following me. Wait a minute, didn't I have more than one? Nobody has laid any more eggs, huh? Hmm. Don't know how to speed that part up, actually. Meaning I don't know how to speed that part up. I don't think I've heard a plop. Oh, I hear the train though. I'm going to pause recording until I get an egg. Ooh, 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 I heard an egg somewhere. I heard an egg. Egg watch 2015. I heard an egg, where is it? Oh, I heard another one. Here, eggy, eggy, eggy. Maybe this was a bad idea to leave these guys. Wait, do I hear a lot of eggs now all of a sudden? No. Well, I thought I heard an egg sound. Maybe not. I did make one cake while... Oh, there we go. That's definitely an egg sound. I'll go up there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there we go. We've got all the cake materials. So we've got this and this. No, it's... uh. No, it's not that. It's this. I already forgot. <laughs> this. And then the milkies on top for a milk... Milky frosting. I kind of wish the buckets stacked a little bit differently. Not going to complain too much. I mean, it's not... This is Moyang feedback, not Matt Maker feedback. There we go. Four cakes. I am going to keep this other stuff, though. Four. He detected. Fancy fence. Uh, uh, I am... Oh, wait. You know what? Even if I do make more cakes, I can't place them down. So I'm going to turn this into bread. Actually, I'm not going to bother. I have pork chops. Let's go on to the next. I wonder why this wool is here. Oh my gosh. There's so many chickens now. They've escaped. I didn't even realize they escaped. Okay, so second lever. Nothing is happening. So it must be... Hmm, must be a big and gate. Let's see what's over here in this tower. Puzzle pillar. Ooh, what is this? Curious about which way to go? Hint. Seven sticks, one ladder. There's the stupid rain again. Seven sticks, one ladder. Oh no, this is a maze. Oh, it's a lightning storm. I hope none of my chickens get turned into mutant chickens. If there is such a thing. Oh, how do I get to this ladder? This is probably... An invisible maze is probably one of my least favorite mazes. Although I'm hoping this one's pretty short and sweet. Hoping. Hoping... It occurs to me that if I was in survival mode, one thing I could do is pour some water on the ground and then see where the water flows. That might be a good way to tackle these kind of things in other maps. In La Futura. I don't really know what language that is. It's no language, in fact. I'm feeling my way around the outside of the maze, I guess. Oh gosh, I hope there was none of those things where you have to, like, jump over. Wait, this might be a lot easier than it looked. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, I hope I don't fall. Oh, I did! Oh, no, 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 that's, that's, that's meanie, meanie stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, if you fall, you just go right... Okay, now this one isn't a maze of blocks per se. It's a maze of holes in the ground, I think. I'm just keeping my right shoulder up against as soon as I move forward to that. Okay, good. Okay, good. So far, so good. I think this might be the right path. Hopefully the rain isn't too noisy. Actually, I must not be in a desert, true desert biome. Got it. Okay. What? Oh, you sneaky little... Oh, man, that's mean. 
That's so mean. There was a hole below the ladder. Okay, let me get back over there. Uh, this will take a second. Actually, it was much easier than I thought. Just You just literally go to the side and then around. I think. Let's see. So this time I need to jump. Oh no, okay. Just need to go up because there was a hole there. Alright, I'm going to shift up here. I'm going to shift. I'm going to unshift. Okay, good. I didn't fall. Okay. I really don't want to fall. Hmm. Why is there a ladder there? Do I have to... Maybe I'm going to have to fall in order to... Oh, I'm stuck over here. And then climb back up. That would be tricky. That would be very tricky. Hmm. What's up there? I'm so close to the chest. There we go. Can I get around to it this way? Hmm, no. Oh boy, how do I get to the chest? Alright, I'm going to stop shifting. Oh, maybe I have to fall onto it. No. Oh, yep. Nice. And then this indicates a fall. Okay, that wasn't a, oh, so bad. That wasn't so bad. Uh, how do I get out of here? That's three levers out of four. I will go place this one in the building and be right back. All right, there we go. Uh, I was thinking of going and turning off the rain. You know what would be so cool, Moyang? If lightning strikes sand and it would turn the sand to glass. How cool would that be? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Parkour pillar, checkpoint one. Checkpoint two, checkpoint three. This is actually fairly well designed. The visuals aren't doing anything for me at all. It's just sandstone. But again, uh, in a 60 minute map, you focus on either mechanics or visuals. It's very hard to, to have both. Very hard. Uh, if I fall, I am going to cheat. Well, look at this. I'm only one layer up, and I've already got a four, four block plus one height jump to deal with. Uh, I hope you don't get upset with me for doing this. Interesting that the server commands are the uh, command feedback is off. That's nice. I will do as many of these legit as I can. I'm just not a parkour dynamo. See, now all these jumps are easier. So from a progression perspective, I do know that it's not incrementally difficult. It started off a little, not, not really too difficult. There were two tough jumps. The problem is if something like that just happens, I will have to redo the tough jumps to get to the easy jumps. I knew I was going to miss that one. That was pathetic. So there's checkpoint one. Oh, that's a nice system. That's a nice system. And let's test it out. Worked good. Okay, so jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. We get the point. I would say maybe this might be a little bit too much of just plain slash difficult jumping. Parkour does need a little bit of variety. So that should be checkpoint two. Let's test that out. Very good. No bugs in this map. I appreciate that. I don't mind bugs. Um, so when I score these, 
for anyone still watching. Uh, I have a scoring system that does allow a small amount of minor bugs, but does take off points for major bugs. And let's just check. I'm just testing this out. Like in this case, if one of the checkpoints work, I would just call that a minor bug because you can still get up here. It's inconvenient, but it doesn't make the map impossible to play. Curious if you could survive the fall? Just do it. Okay. Ah. I see. You give me booties of strength. Now, I think... Uh, Oh boy, I would have barely survived. Now, the interesting thing in this one, in this map in general, I don't feel like if you did the these things in a different order that you would have gotten any real benefit. You have beat four pillars, but there are actually five. Can you beat it? What was that? <gasps> Whoa, what the heck? What is this? This is some kind of a parkour. Something's shooting me with arrows. You must find a way to escape before you die. Well, I think I just go around. Whoa, what's happening? Are arrows spawning from up above? I think it's an... Or no, they're spawning above me. I need to keep moving. Okay, this is pretty straightforward parkour. <gasps> oh, you turpentine. Hmm, I wonder what kind of clock he's using. I'm curious. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't fall this time. Oh, come on. Okay, hold on. Why is that jump so difficult? Oh, it's because there's a block up there that I wasn't counting on. Okay. Okay. This should be fairly easy. I, my vision momentarily got confused by the block down below. That was a weird, weird sort of um, visual, not special effect. What do they call that? Like a, oh, like a, a vision. Oh, optical illusion. That's what they're called. All right. Did I get up to here? I think I was here. So we go up here. And then... Ha, I did it! Thanks for playing the pillars. Oh, this is the the yellow thing on top. Oh, it's still raining arrows. <laughs> okay, let's explore the map. Oh, it put us in creative is what it did, I think. Okay, very cool entry. Uh, I like the fact that you gave me four completely different types of challenges and then a fifth one. And um, it wasn't super hard. Yes, I cheated for the sake of time in the video, but... Uh, it was fairly well paced. Like I said, the uh, couple of hard jumps at the beginning, I think I would have like made them more incrementally difficult. Maybe mixed it up a little bit, but not terrible. Good entry.